everybody, Charlie from EV Powered here, back again with another behind the scenes vlog. This time from the final Extreme E weekend of the season, which takes place in Dorset, right here in the UK. At the end of this weekend, we're going to have our very first Extreme E winner. It looks like at this stage, it's going to be Rosberg X Racing, who have had an amazing campaign up to now. But who knows, it is Extreme E and absolutely anything can happen. We're also really fortunate to be able to be going this weekend. Obviously, this round of racing was meant to be taking place in Argentina, in Patagonia, but COVID-19 travel restrictions meant it had to be rescheduled to take place right here on home soil in the UK. As always, I'll be there with my trusty GoPro to give you a behind the scenes look at everything that goes on at an Extreme E weekend. So stay tuned and here's what you've got to look forward to. Right, good morning everybody. It's Saturday the 18th of December, which means it's finally time for the first proper day of racing of the Jurassic X Prix. Obviously, we have had some racing already with the teams getting to know the course during their free practice sessions, and we've seen some amazing action already, including Katie Munnings getting some really big air and quite a heavy landing on one particular jump. So that could be an interesting part of the course. It already looks really wet and muddy out there, which is probably typical for an English race track, I suppose, especially in Extreme E. So be interesting to see how that develops over the weekend. Um, considering it is a race in England in December, the weather doesn't look too bad. It's still gonna be pretty cold at around seven, eight degrees, but could be a lot worse, but it is England. So anything can happen with the weather and it can change in an instant. Just getting sorted, ready to leave to go and get my media pass and accreditation and all those sorts of things. So just getting packed and ready to leave the hotel room. Um, and one of the things we've had to pack as well is our own bowl and knife and fork set and our own water bottle because Extreme E has a bring your own bowl policy to help reduce uh, any waste and uh, to be um, as environmentally friendly as possible. So that's another cool aspect of what makes this uh, series so special uh, and so different to any other racing format out there. So as I said, qualifying today, interested to see how the teams navigate the circuit and how the weather plays a part in that. And I'm also looking forward to showing you everything that goes on behind the scenes and Extreme E weekend. So I'll catch up with you guys later on.
Guys, that's qualifying done. Loads of drama, loads of action, as there always is with Xtreme, and it's perfectly poised for an amazing finale uh, on Sunday. It was great to walk down the paddock and see some of the cars up close and personal. You really do appreciate just how big they are. Then they look a lot smaller on the TV, trust me. But when you see them up close and personal, they really are absolute beasts, and it just makes you appreciate how hard the driver's job really is to navigate courses such as these and in cars that are as big and as powerful as these as well so really great to see them as well i'm now off to paul harbour to see if i can get a glimpse of the santa helena but otherwise i'm looking forward to an amazing final day of the extreme e season tomorrow so stay tuned for more behind the scenes footage I wasn't able to get a glimpse of the St Helena, but for those that perhaps haven't followed Xtreme throughout the season or aren't as familiar with it, then this is what has transported all the vehicles and teams across the world for this season, covering over 19,000 nautical miles in total. It's disappointing, but I wasn't able to see it up close, but let's now focus on the final day of the Xtreme E season. Morning everybody, we're here back again for the final day of the very first Extreme E season. We had a great time at qualifying yesterday, loads of drama, loads of action, and I'm sure it's gonna be much more of the same again. It's a lot colder than it was yesterday, but thankfully I've got my nice Extreme E hat keeping me lovely and warm, and it's also a bit foggy as well, so not sure how much we'll be able to see, but uh, semi-finals are just about to get underway, so I'm on my way now to take my place in the stands to see if I can bring you some of the action from as close as possible. Uh, it should be an interesting final day as well. We've got Rosberg X Racing and Team X44 going head to head for the championship. So looking forward to seeing how that unfolds. Unfortunately, I couldn't get close enough to the action to film the semi-final or finals up close, but I was able to watch the action unfold on the big screen and it really was a great day of racing. 
It had everything from big crashes to tense battles and of course lots and lots of mud. In the end, it was X44 that secured the win over the weekend, but Rosberg X Racing secured the championship by coming in at P4. They've had such a strong season, winning most of the races across the campaign, and in the end, they did just enough to get over the line. Right guys, so there we have it, the end of the Jurassic X3 and the end of the very first Extreme E season. It was an amazing weekend of racing and a massive congratulations to Rosberg X Racing for an amazing campaign and the deserving winners at the end of an incredible season. It went right down to the wire, a team X44 pushed them right to the limit but uh, in the end they just had enough to get over the line. A massive thank you to Extreme E for allowing me to come down this weekend and fingers crossed that we'll be back next season to bring you more behind the scenes vlogs like this one. It's been an amazing weekend of racing with loads of action and loads of drama on both days, just like it has been throughout the season. So it really was the perfect way to end the very first season of Extreme E. That's all for this video. If you liked it, then please do drop us a like and remember to subscribe as well. We'll be back in the new year with more of our Formula E vlogs, so stay tuned for them. But for now, you can also head over to evpower.co.uk for daily news coverage, features, and much more. Thanks once again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.